welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, today we are going to go over the LG V30. I just want to thank uh, Bob Azon, uh, or Azon, uh, Bob Azon. <laughs> I, I'm very, very bad at last names, guys. Um, well, at names in general. Uh, Bob sent me this phone. This is his personal V30. He bought it brand new. Uh, it's an AT&T device. Um, but he bought it brand new, uh, asked me if I wouldn't mind reviewing it, if he sent it to me. Um, and I was not going to turn down the opportunity to try a, uh, a V30 because I just don't have the money to go out and buy one, guys. You know I don't get backed by anybody. So any device that I review or use is a device I purchase myself. So Bob, thank you very much. Um, it, it's a it's an awesome uh, thing that you did. Uh, believe me, guys. Bob doesn't know me from Jack, uh, so he is t sending his phone to a perfect stranger uh, that he only knows over the internet, and that takes a lot of balls. Uh, and I do appreciate it, bud. Um, just like John Cavanaugh, uh, John Cavanaugh is a big contributor to the uh, community. Uh, you know, like I said, he sent the uh, the One Plus Five uh, that I use uh, for recording videos and stuff like that. Uh, and, of course, flashing custom ROM. So, uh, guys, I just want you to know that I appreciate the stuff that you do for the channel. Um, let's go ahead and get on with this. Make sure that you guys drop a uh, thank you to, uh, to Bob uh, and for John for all the, uh, uh, the donations and the stuff that they do for the community. Um, it is a big help. Um, this is the V30. This is the newest in the line of the V-Series phones. Uh, I did do a, vac a factory reset on this so that we would start fresh, uh, but I've had the phone now for about, uh, I would say almost a week, a full week, and I have been using it for everything. I love this phone. I love this phone to the point where I am actually considering um, uh, re renewing my plan with Verizon and getting a new phone because I'm up for a new phone. Uh, but I just keep getting used phones and throwing my SIM cards in them and I just, you know, go that way. Uh, because I don't want to update or renew my contract. This phone is worth renewing my contract for. I love this phone. When I first picked it up and I started using the camera in it, which the camera is what really I like about it, um, it blew me away. I, I could not believe the crispness. The, the, I just couldn't believe it, guys. I, I have some videos that I am going to post. Uh, as far I did a little review on uh, some headphones that I just purchased and stuff like that. I did it with the V30 and I did it with all point and click. You guys are going to be surprised uh, at the quality of it. So let's get on with this. Um, as you can see, this is what you're going to get in the box. Um, if we, I'll pick it up and I'll, I'll let you guys see. Uh, this is uh, LG. It is the AT&T model. Um, and again, I'm recording this on my LG V10. I kind of wanted to do a side-by-side -side review with it, but I need my V10 to do the recording with. So if I pull it up, we're going to go ahead and go around it. You guys can see there is the speaker grill on the bottom. It is a uh, USB Type-C. Uh, there is the mic noise canceling, uh, and you can see the band for the antenna. Uh, we turn it around to the uh, left side. Uh, there are your volume adjust up and down. Uh, top is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and another noise cancellating, uh, cancellation microphone and you can see the other band right here for the um, for the antenna uh, and then of course the only thing on the right side is your SIM card tray which is right there it also takes an SD card uh, so SIM and SD combined into one into that tray that's the only thing on the right side of the device and that is it so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and we're gonna go we're gonna power it up Actually, before I do that, I want to go through the rest of the box, let you guys see what's in it. It actually just comes with like a little case in here, nothing else in the box. You're going to get paperwork, your SIM card, uh, your SIM card, anything like that, um, instructions, quick start manual uh, in this little case right here. Uh, and then you also get another LG, uh, let's get started, quick start manual here and here. And then in the bottom, you're going to get your... Uh, USB, your LG uh, USB brick, which is a fast charge brick, just so you guys know, this is a Qualcomm processor, so it does support fast charging, uh, and you have the uh, USB Type-C cable, which I'm not using, I'm using the charging cable from my LG V10, um, because they, it actually takes the same, um, th it takes the same brick. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this.
All right, we are at the welcome screen now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it up real quick, so I'm going to hit pause. All right, so we're at the Google sign-in, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, and uh, I'm going to set up my Google account real quick. Okay, so we're back. Um, I went ahead and set up everything, um, and again, guys, we're not going to really go through um, every single uh, setup procedure on this, uh, but what I did want you to see is like what all is included um, as far as settings go, things like that. Uh, I wanted to turn that down just a little bit. Um, the way it's set up is it's set up kind of like a Samsung device where you have the, uh, uh, I think it's called, let me see what it's called here. Uh, you have your list view and then you have your tab view, yes. Um, and that's the way Samsung does theirs as well, uh, TouchWiz. When you slide to the right, that gives you sound and notification, then you have your display, uh, and then you have general. Now, underneath your general, you're going to get your keyboard setup, location, accounts, accessibility, shortcuts, your Google services, your fingerprint, fingerprint and security. Now, when you go through here, it's going to allow you to set up your lock screen, your fingerprints, uh, content lock, your um, encrypt your SD card if you, if you so choose to do that. Uh, make your passwords visible, your phone administrators, unknown sources. Yes, we are going to turn that on for now. Um, and so on and so forth. You have screen pin at the bottom. Uh, let's see here. What else do they have? Uh, floating bar. That's something that's pretty cool. Uh, if you turn that on, basically what that does is it puts a little bar on the, on the side there uh, that allows you to uh, create shortcuts and stuff like that as far as apps that you use a lot. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. I was using that when I was using this uh, phone. I did set it up that way. I'm going to leave that on. Um, next up is gaming. Um, it is set up with both of those features on. Uh, it's, it basically helps uh, your gaming mode. Um, and what you can do is when your game is on, you'll see a little floating icon. You can tap that icon and then you can like adjust the graphics to it. But with this having 4 gigs of RAM uh, and the processor that's in it, um, the uh, the speed of the phone and the way it handles things, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, I did play uh, Asphalt 8, uh, Need for Speed. Uh, I think it was Need for Speed. Um, and uh, in my in my flight simulator game, which is called Infinite Flight, you can get it on the Play Store. Uh, it is a paid app, uh, but it's an awesome flight simulator. I think one of the best out. Um, and it's very, very high intensive graphics on that. You need to have a good phone to run it. And this phone... Uh, ran it without any flaw whatsoever. Um, smart settings are next. If you want to go into the smart settings, you can set that up. Uh, basically, it says with smart settings, you can have uh, things turn on and off, uh, open or change according to where you are. This is basically like your home setting, your away home, away from home settings. Whenever you have your phones plugged in, what do you want the device to do? Things like that. Uh, that's where you can go for that. Uh, then it's basically date, time, storage, battery, power settings. Uh, you do have memory. If you go into battery and power settings, it's, again, you have your power saving settings, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Smart Clean is a, a place you can go and optimize your phone. Um, you can get in there and actually uh, dig into your apps, uh, apps that you don't use, things like that. Get rid of a lot of the stuff that you don't use uh, and clean your device out uh, so it runs a little bit smoother. Um, Let's see, uh, backup and reset factory, reset your phone there, about phone, and then, of course, your regulatory system. We'll go into about phone quickly uh, and into software and let you see, whoops, that's not software. Uh, where is software? Right there, software info. It is running Android 7.1.2, uh, so that's Android Nougat. Uh, if we tap on that several times, you'll see that it you get the, uh, the N logo, or Nougat logo. Nougat logo. Um, there's your build number, baseband version, uh, security patch level, and all that. And I didn't allow it to do any updates, so I'm guessing that that security patch um, probably even updated to February. Uh, of course, that's just a guess. Where are we at on time here? Um, I forgot where the clock is on this one. Oh, we're under five minutes. Uh, let's see here. So that's uh, about phone. So we're going to go ahead and swipe uh, to the left. That brings up the display settings. Um, you do have your home screen. Right now it's set up uh, to be more like iOS, where everything's on your home screen. You don't have an app drawer. I hate that. But this gives you the option to go with the app drawer. Uh, and with this, you click in your app drawer. Uh, you can actually go in and see the apps you have. Uh, it does have preset folders. So if you go into the folders, these are the Google apps that come pre-installed. Uh, by the way, this comes with quite a few apps 
installed on it. That one I hate, by the way. Uh, I still don't understand why um, companies think that we want to have Facebook pre-installed, especially as a system app. Uh, and then these are your AT&T. So about the only bloatware that I see uh, is... So, I mean, fa and that's not bad. To have Facebook as the only uh, app uh, bloatware, I don't think is that bad. Now, these apps I think people are going to use. These are AT&T apps, you know, mobile security, your device information or your device help, uh, set up and transfer files from phone to phone, and of course your AT&T call protect. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, that's basically the UI uh, in the phone. I think the phone is really, really snappy. Uh, we'll go back into settings again. We'll swipe it over and let me see. Uh, no, we were going on. Um, I'm sorry, guys. We were on display. Uh, that was the home screen uh, lock screen. Uh, these are your lock screen settings. Um, clock. These are your clock settings on a lock screen. Again, just a lot of things you guys can do with the phone as far as this goes. Uh, shortcuts, customize the shortcuts on there. You can add quite a few shortcuts to this. Um, yeah, contact information. This is a really cool thing. You can actually put your contact information in case your phone is lost and somebody picks it up. I found phones before, and I wish somebody would have had some contact information. It would have made it a lot easier for me to get their device back to them. Uh, let me see. And that's about it for the lock screen. Um, again, I'm not going to go over everything on this. Uh, you can change your font type on here just like you can with Samsung or anything else. Uh, right now it's on Robo. Uh, we'll go with LG Smart. It's going to go system wide and change everything over. Um, you can go with bold text if you like. Uh, change your font size just like uh, in, on the other ROMs. You can change that around. Uh, right now it's set to medium. We could go large if we wanted. Uh, this helps me <laughs> uh, with my older eyes. Uh, let's see, app settings, you have your display size, uh, again, you can change that, uh, which is cool, and they have some, like, icons there, so you can see what it would look like uh, if you change it. Just hit the plus button, I don't think it's going to, there it goes. And I'm, I'm just going to go back to the way it was, the default settings, because I think the default settings are actually set up pretty nice. Uh, screen resolution, it is set up at its highest resolution, the highest resolution, which is um, uh, 4K. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you have your comfort view that reduces the eye strain at night, you know, your night view, stuff like that. Uh, you can set up your screen color. Uh, these are the modes that they have for you. Uh, I'm leaving it on normal just for the video, but you guys can definitely set that up. Uh, go with the enhanced video color. Um, brightness level. Uh, you have your auto settings, always on display if you guys want to use that. I don't like the always on display. I think it's intrusive. It uh, gives other people more information to what they should have uh, of yours. Um, let's see, auto screen rotates, uh, screen timeout, and of course more. This is going to be knock on. Uh, this is how you can wake the phone up. It comes automatically set up with it on. So if your phone is off, which I'm not going to turn it off, all you have to do is double tap on the screen and it will turn it on. Uh, swipe to the left brings up sound and notifications, your basic setup. Uh, volumes are here. Uh, you do have your volume, uh, your sound profiles up there. Uh, ringtone, ringtone ID, vibration strength, uh, sound with vibration. All your setups for vibrations are there. Uh, do not disturb settings, your lock screen, uh, your apps per app as far as notifications go. Uh, and then on the bottom here is an important one. This is your Hi-Fi DAC uh, or your Hi-Fi Quad DAC setting. Now you can only access that when you plug in earphones, but uh, I did a, a review on um, some uh, headphones that I purchased, and they are outstanding headphones. And man, <laughs> when I plug it into this, I, as far as video camera goes and the uh, audio quality on this phone with, head with headphones is outstanding, guys. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this phone. I really do like it. Um, I like it better than my Sony. I think that the Sony Z would maybe edge this one out a little bit more. I I'm not so sure about on the camera-wise, though. But as far as uh, video, uh, you know, uh, playback, um, video playback and probably audio playback, I think the Sony might be a little bit better, uh, but not much. All right, swipe to the left. Go ahead. That brings up our network settings as far as your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, you know, and all that. And if you go in, get in here, you, get, you can see that it's got, if we go into the, uh, won't let me get into mobile because I don't have a SIM in it. 
and it's not showing anything. See, a lot of these I can't get into because I don't have a SIM card in it. This is AT&T, so I couldn't test for calling because I'm on Verizon. Um, Bluetooth works. I do know that. Uh, I also know that um, NFC works. I transferred files from here to my Nexus 6 with no problems. And I'm going to have to go ahead and stop and restart this because I'm running out. Since I'm recording in 4K, um, the uh, LG V10 allows me uh, to only record in 10 minutes, um, and w which is fine. It, it kind of gives me an idea where I'm at. Um, you do have the share and connect. This is going to be where you have all of your NFC settings, file sharing, media, ser uh, media server. Uh, I think your screen sharing is there as well. Uh, mirror link. You have your LG AirDrive and, of course, uh, print uh, for wireless printing. Uh, and then, of course, you have your tethering. This is going to be for your USB uh, tethering or your um, hotspot, uh, stuff like that. This is going to be where you go for that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as settings go, now the one thing that I do want to bring up about this, the two things I really, really love about this phone, uh, you know, number one is the camera, but number two, I could actually use this phone stock without a custom ROM, without rooting or anything like that because of the one thing that they have added to it and that is theming. Um, most of the themes that you have on here are just basic wallpapers and icons and we can change that around just by throwing a custom launcher on here, uh, which I always do anyways, I run Nova Launcher. Uh, but what this does come with is there's one theme down here, and I've noticed it at the theme, on the theme store when you go to purchase some of these, there are a couple others like this as well. But if I was to click on that one, this not only changes the wallpapers and the icons, this changes the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply on that. I'm going to let this apply. This takes longer to apply, by the way, because this is going deep. This is going system-wide. Uh, this is kind of like... Um, um, OMS. So we're going to let that apply. We don't have to reboot it or anything. It'll just apply the way it's supposed to. Uh, it is done now. Um, now if I go ahead and pull down now, notice my drop down is the same. Uh, my Or my notifications are the same. It's still white with black text. But if I pull down on my quick uh, settings, now you've noticed they've. I have a black background with a, uh, with a dark orange uh, text or icons to it, which I, I love that. I, I could live with that. That to me is theming that I can live with. Same way with the settings. Uh, settings are all done in the same format, and anything that you click in, that's all uh, theme, themed in the same way. Not only is that theme, but if you go into like your dialer, your dialer is themed the same, as same as your contacts, uh, call log, everything. So it themes the whole phone, and I love that. Um, not there aren't very many stock phones that you're going to get that with. Uh, so that that is a big plus for me right there, that and the camera. Um, you know, I was going to get into the camera, and I was going to show you guys uh, uh, things about the camera, but, you know, it's it's just so hard. It's just so hard to do a video showing uh, camera stuff unless you are willing to, uh, let me see here, unless you're willing to take the time to go through and have something. Well, I want to turn that around. I don't want to see me, my ugly mug. Um, it's not going to show the camera right now uh, because it's, I've got a, something in the background, but I'm trying to find settings here. All right, here's the settings. Now, these are your, these are your settings. You have your, uh, your photo size, video resolution, um, stuff like that. You can change your HDR, uh, all kinds of things like that, shutter, uh, your cheese shutter. I mean, it's, it's got a really cool things where you say cheese and, you know, it takes a picture. Uh, I know what I'm looking for. What I really want to see, though, is uh, mode. If you click into mode, these are going to be quick settings for you to pick to uh, take videos and snap pictures in a very quick format that allows you to use custom settings. Uh, this does come with slow motion. Uh, it's got snap movies, um, panoramic, uh, 360 panoramic, uh, pop out, uh, manual mode. Now, if you go into manual mode, uh, this is going to give you a lot of settings across the bottom. So if we turn the device this way, hopefully it will stay there without falling. Uh, you'll see it's got a lot of settings here. Um, well, of course, to, nope, okay, well, anyways, um, let me see if I can get this to manually focus again, there we go, uh, you, you'll see that there's a lot of things on the, across the bottom that you can change to set, to change that up, just like I have in my LG V10, so, again, the camera is just awesome, and I can't say enough about the camera, uh, I could sit here and, and tell you guys, uh, all the different features that's on this camera, um, but without, but without me actually, 
without me actually showing you what, you know, like, you have to see it on here to believe it. And again, like I said, I have some videos uh, I'm going to post right after this review. It's going to show you exactly um, what I'm talking about. So, uh, guys, that's pretty much it. This is the LG uh, V30. Um, would I recommend this device? Absolutely. Um, I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, I think this is one of the best uh, devices that I've seen or that I've had the opportunity to, uh, uh, to play with um, or, you know, to even use. And again, like I said, I've, I've got to thank Bob for sending it. Um, I've read a lot about it. I've watched the reviews online. Um, I was kind of skeptical about it. Uh, I, I do, you know, and then again, I have an LG V10, so I, I kind of knew, you know, it was going to have a pretty decent camera. But all, all I have to say is the first time I picked this up and I started to use the camera, I just couldn't believe the quality. It, it was, I mean, it was a night and day difference. It actually, I mean, it, it's hard to explain, guys. Um, Yes, I highly recommend this phone. Now, uh, again, is this does this phone is will this phone have the same camera quality as the uh, as the Pixel XL two or uh, any of the Pixels for that matter, or you know the the um, uh, Samsung's uh, S eight S eight plus the S nine uh, the one or the um, um, iOS which Apple's phone their newest one you know the uh, the Apple iPhone 10 or the Apple iPhone 9 uh, or even the 8 for that matter. Um, I, I don't know. I've, I've never had those devices to test. Uh, I've seen some of the video quality on YouTube, uh, but I've seen the video quality that this puts out on my 65-inch um, uh, LG uh, UHD television, which is in 4K, and I'm blown away by it. Uh, I just honestly couldn't believe it. Um, a couple things I don't like about it. Um, volume. Um, the volume doesn't go up very high, even with the headphones on. Now, you get a very, very clear and crisp sound, uh, and that I like, um, but you can't crank it. I mean, if you want to crank it to the point where it's going to blow your eardrums out, forget it. It's not going to happen. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you plug it in uh, to your, and you use your DAC system, uh, go to max, it max is 75%. You cannot go to 100%, unless there's a way to do it that I'm not uh, seeing. Um, I can't. I couldn't test call quality out, so I can't say anything about that. Um, I haven't heard anything from any of the people that own the device on whether or not it's got bad, you know, uh, phone quality or anything like that. Everything I've heard about it has been nothing but good news. Um, I don't like the glass on the back. I have been keeping this phone in this box only because I'm scared to death to drop it. If I drop this device with this glass back, it's done. You are finished. <laughs> So I, I hate a device with, that's all glass. I, I, I still don't understand why any manufacturer would decide to do something like that. Um, let's make it metal, you know. You drop it, it puts a dent in it or scratches it, but you're good to go. You drop that, you're, it's it. You, you spider crack the whole dang thing and hopefully, hopefully that's the only thing that happens, you know. Uh, but you're going to have to end up getting it fixed or you'll probably end up with cuts and everything else. Um, I would say, other than the glass, um, and um, you know, po and, and of course the earphone uh, not being able to go up to 100%, there's really not much I don't like about it. Uh, I do love the dual camera setup. I tried the selfies. Selfies work nice. Um, the laser flash, uh, the laser, you know, um, uh, range finder, uh, laser focus. That's what I meant to say. Works great. The self stabilization works really well. Uh, I've used it on a selfie stick, taking videos outside, which I'm going to post online. Uh, it does a great job. Um, and that's about all I can think of, guys. Uh, I want to thank Bob for sending me the phone. Bob, you are awesome. Thank you very much. I'm almost done with it. I'm getting ready to send it back to you. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are the only reason I do what I do. Believe me, I've <laughs> thought about quitting this whole thing. Um, but, again, you guys do watch my videos and, and you enjoy them. And I don't mind doing them. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, I will see you all on the next one.